Hi there, I'm Jonathan Strickland, a senior writer here at HowStuffWorks.com and host of Tech Stuff. And I wanted to talk to you today about ubiquitous computing and the pervasive internet. So what are these things? Well, ubiquitous computing is this idea of computers being around us and part of everything we do pretty much from the time we get up in the morning to the time we go to bed and sometimes even when we sleep. It kind of comes from this idea of, well, before we had this, this computing world where there were a lot of people using just a few machines. So you would have to share time on a machine in order to get access to it. You would actually have groups of people using terminals that would each get access one at a time to a supercomputer. We called this time sharing. Then we move to a model where it's one user, one machine. That's kind of the model we're in now, although we're shifting away from that, where you would have a computer and it would be a dedicated machine just for you. You can use it however much you like and you're not sharing it with anyone else. Well, then we've got the one user, lots of machines. That's where we're headed to now. A lot of people now own multiple computers. They also may own a smartphone, perhaps some other mobile devices that have internet connectivity built into them and computing built into them. That's the idea behind ubiquitous computing. We build computers into other things around us so that we can interact with them in a new way. Now, right now we can see it in things like smartphones, video gaming consoles, computers, that sort of thing. But we're gonna see more and more of that built into things like basic appliances. Perhaps even the clothing we wear will have some of these elements sewn into them using electronic fabrics. Now, if that sounds a little too far out to you, just remember that the smartphone alone can really add a lot of functionality to ubiquitous computing. Imagine downloading an app to your phone that when it interacts with your home network, allows you to control things like your environmental controls in your house. This isn't science fiction, it's happening right now. It'll just be a little while longer before we get to a point where when you move from one room to the next, the climate controls change automatically based upon your preferences. It might come into a little bit of conflict when there's a bunch of people in the room and all of their, their preferences are at odds with one another, but we'll work that out as we get to it. Now, pervasive internet is a related idea. This is an idea where internet connectivity is universal. Pretty much anywhere you go, you'll be able to log into the internet. We're getting closer and closer to that too, although we still have problems with that. It, it, you might find dead spots where you have no Wi-Fi or cellular service, and getting connected to the internet might be a little difficult. You might have to have a satellite hookup, which is not cheap. But we're getting closer to having a pervasive internet experience. And the idea here is that between ubiquitous computing and pervasive internet, we'll be able to network everything. Your entire experience through life will be completely networked all around you, which means that you'll be able to dictate the experience you have in life based upon the technology surrounding you at any given time. So let's say that you like the, the room a certain temperature, you like certain music, you like certain kinds of food. Well, your refrigerator is going to tell you when you're low on your favorite ingredients. Your room is going to adjust to the right kind of temperature as soon as you walk in. Your iPod or other MP3 player is going to start playing the music you like as soon as you pick it up. These are the ideas that we're moving toward. We're not that far away from it. We're already seeing hints of it in our daily lives. But trust me, in five or ten years, it's going to be everywhere. You're going to love it. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts, free, on iTunes.